There was a woman who wanted to get married, and she was delighted when she found out that a six-story house had been built in her town with the best possible candidates on each floor. The only thing that puzzled her was that you could only go there and make a choice once in your life. And you cannot go back to the previous floor if you have already passed it. However, that could not stop the woman and she went to choose her husband. On the first floor hung a sign, Kind and Loyal Men. The woman stopped, thought about it, and did not go in. She went up to the floor above and read the following sign on the door, Kind and Loyal Men, Hard Working and Caring. The woman stood in front of the door for a while, but did not go in again, and went on her way. The third floor greeted her with a similar sign, only it had a few more lines added to it. Kind and loyal men, handsome, hard-working, and caring, loving family, adoring children. The woman read the inscription carefully, but did not even go into the door. She hurried to the fourth floor. There too was a sign, kind and loyal men, handsome, hard-working and caring, loving family, adoring children, have a high position, rush home after work. The woman wrinkled her nose. After all, there were still two more floors waiting ahead, and the world's best husbands were there. On the fifth floor, the woman stopped, glancing at the sign. Kind and loyal men, handsome, hard-working and caring, great in bed, loving family, adoring children, have a high position, rush home after work, evenings and weekends devoted to the family. The woman waved her hand and ran to the sixth floor, but there was no sign on the door. She opened it and found herself in a corridor that led outside. There were already many women standing there, looking lovingly at the six-story building where they had never been able to choose their husbands. A woman chooses the man who chooses her. Paul Giraldi, the French Nobel Prize winning writer, once said. And in this, he is right. Because any woman simply lets a man choose her, she will never be happy with someone she herself does not love. But then, why do so many women, once they make a choice, become disappointed in their life partner? Another parable will tell us. A girl once came to her granny and said that she was disappointed in men. Why? The old woman wondered. They are all so alike, it's boring with them. Come on, granddaughter, you're wrong. Every man is different. Grandma, a guy says hello to me and I know what happens next. I know where he'll take me, how he will smile, what he will say. It makes me so angry. It has nothing to do with the boys, dear, Granny smiled. It's us women's fault. You see, each of us has a different taste. Some people like nice, homely men. That's what they choose, and then complain to all their friends that their husband is a nerd, who does not want to go anywhere and loves the couch and TV. Other women are attracted to men who are charming, the life of the party, and then those wives aren't happy that their husbands are always somewhere else, preferring to spend time with friends and have mistresses. Those who love romance one day grow tired of putting up with his eternal depressions, creative crises, and his search for himself. And if a woman dreams of finding a husband behind whom she can hide like a stone wall, it is possible that she will never find a door in the wall to escape. Is there truth to this parable? Of course there is. But what do psychologists say about it? They believe it all depends on what kind of relationship the woman wants. If she wants to be with a man for a long time, she will look for care. If she wants a short-term affair, she will look for strength and attraction. Beautiful women hope to find someone they would not be ashamed of to show their friends. Women with an ordinary appearance repel beautiful men. They expect fidelity and loyalty. Still, the question of female choice will always be the most difficult and unintelligible. The wise English writer Agatha Christie once confessed, 
I have always wondered why the worst of men interest the best of women. Her point is echoed by the American publicist Henry Louis Mangan. Women don't like timid men. Cats don't like cautious mice, he once said. That could be true, but we like to think that a woman chooses her man based on instinct, a natural gift that helps her in this difficult manner. And in spite of possible mistakes, everyone is bound to be lucky one day, and she will choose the man who chooses her.